Hello, and welcome back to Myths of Ace, which is very hard to say. For those of you who haven't been around for long enough to know what Myths of Ace is, I will leave a link in the description to a playlist with the other two videos I've done in this series, which were quite close to when I started doing YouTube. But basically, what Myths of Ace is, is me trying to debunk misconceptions about asexuality. And what I do is in each episode, I have a main misconception which I'm going to talk about and then two smaller misconceptions which are easier to explain away. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So my first misconception of the day is that asexuals are all young. Um, that asexuality is just this uh, sexual orientation that's been spawned in the depths of the internet. And there's this really new thing that the snowflake generation has um, come up with. The first thing to note is that there is a huge history behind the asexual community and asexuality in general. That's something that I will go into at a later date, but know that there have been never mentions of asexuality, even if it's not called the same thing, going back decades. And recently, actually, I've been listening to the AOK podcast, which is easy to listen to. If you don't already listen to it, it's good. Basically, it's run by an Arrow Race woman, and um, she interviews a different person from the A spectrum every week. And quite a few people that have been interviewed were actually older. Um, they were. Uh, into their 40s or 50s and maybe they've been married to someone for a long time and they didn't realize they were asexual because there there wasn't that widespread representation of it but now that it is coming more into the light they've they found it and they realized that throughout their life they've been asexual and they haven't realized that um so they're direct proof against this claim that all aces are young number two on my list is that aces can't make sex jokes so um, there's basically this idea that because aces don't feel sexual attraction, they can't be sexual in any way, and they can't find sex jokes amusing because why would they? They don't want sex, so why, how do they find sex jokes funny? How do they understand them? Um, obviously this is a very, um, this is particular to the person. So I myself, I'm not a sex joke person. I, I really don't get them. Um, so, I'm not very good at debunking this myself, but I know there are a lot of aces who who do pick up on sex jokes and find those amusing. For example, in the video I made about um, going on loads of dating apps, I had this picture of me, uh, and I was uh, I drenched in water, and I can't remember what I said. I'll say it here, and I'll show you some of the comments. I have this picture of me being very wet. I like being wet. But <laughs> with that out of the way, your your sense of humour isn't linked to your sexuality in any way. That's just ridiculous, right? If you find morbid jokes funny, it doesn't mean that you want to kill people and you are obsessed with death. Maybe you just have that sense of humour. So I think in conclusion, basically anyone can make sex jokes, anyone can find sex jokes funny, it doesn't make them any more or less asexual. And number three on the list, and our main one for today, is that there is an asexual look. So, now I am dressed up asexually. Um, I really don't understand why this is in the first place, so I guess <laughs> it's very hard to talk like this. So now that I have got rid of any sort of attractiveness from my body, I am dressed asexually. To bit <laughs> jokes aside, I really don't understand what they mean by an asexual look and being like looking asexual and saying that oh that person looks sexy, so they can't be asexual. Um, and this is a really big thing that the um, activist um, Yasmin Benoit has been trying to debunk uh, doing her activism. She is the person who uh, invented the "this is what asexual looks like" hashtag. And she herself is a lingerie model, um, but she's our race. Um, and her her modeling and her being what is traditionally considered sexy doesn't make her any less asexual because people can people can want to look good without wanting to attract someone's attention. And even if they do want to attract someone's attention, like for example, 
I might dress up uh, if I want to, to look good for a guy. It doesn't mean I, I want to look I look good to, to have sex with them. I don't know. It's really weird. This whole situation is very weird. Um, also, these... Uh, it's getting way too hot in here. Um, so the idea that this human body is this sexual object that... And you must... If you look good, you're trying to sell yourself. It's just ridiculous. And I really hate that that's the thing. That the body is always seen as this sexual object by a lot of people. Um, and, it, and it shouldn't be. So for example, people who identify as asexual might specifically dress down because they don't want to attract that sexual attention. But they shouldn't have to do that. They should be able to dress the way they want without people thinking that they're trying to seduce them. It's just ridiculous. As I have hopefully demonstrated by putting on too many layers. It is very hot right now, and I am not comfortable at all. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to finish this video. If you are watching this channel and somehow do not know about Yasmin Benoit, then uh, she is awesome. Uh, I'll leave her Twitter down below. Tell her how awesome she is. Um, and also, as I mentioned earlier, AOK -OK Podcast. Go listen to that. Um, I've had loads of fun, and it's honestly been a breath of fresh air listening to aces who aren't me talk because I'm listening to myself talk every week when I'm doing this editing, thing, or at least every other week of the moment, and uh, I get sick of my own voice sometimes, I swear. Also, if you're looking for podcasts, Sounds Fake But Okay, another Ace podcast that I listen to every now and then, I'm just giving free advertisement right now. Um, I need to finish this video because I am sweating in there, <laughs> which you didn't really need to know. If you have any comments about any of the misconceptions, please put them in the comments below. In the comments. Um, I think that's everything I had to say today. And if there's any misconceptions which you would like me to talk about in the future of Myths of Ace, then please do tell me because uh, there are so many I can do, but I like to, I like to get your opinion because you often have good ideas too. So that is all I had to say today. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. I post videos every other Saturday, so if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. That is all I had to say today. Have a wonderful day, and I shall see you next time. It's a bit weird. I I, I find it really funny seeing violence on television. Not, not real violence, but fantasy violence, if that makes sense. Number two. Number two on my <laughs> Number two on my list. Ironically, I think I look quite good in this. Um...